We're going to cover math numbers 1 to 10. The numbers 1 through 15 were each written on individual pieces of paper, one number per piece. Then 15 pieces of paper were put in a jar. One piece will be drawn from the jar at random. What is the probability of drawing a piece of paper with a number less than 9 on it? So doing probability. Probability is what you want over what you have. So what we have are 15 numbers, so 15. We want a number that is less than 9, and that means we want a number 1 to 8. So there are 8 numbers less than 9, so 8 out of 15, so your answer is E. Which of the following expressions is equivalent to this term? So we have 9x squared, so it has to be one of these. We can go ahead and eliminate f and g. And then we're going to say combine negative 4x cubed, negative 12. So negative 4, negative 12 is negative 16 cubed, so it has to be j. So there's your answer. When x equals 2, what does this equal? So we have 10 plus 3 times 12 divided by 3 times 2. So that's 6. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 10 is 16. So that's just knowing PEMDAS order of operations. So your answer is B. So absolute value means anything between the bars is always positive. So 6 minus 4 is 2 and minus 3 minus 8 is negative 5, but that becomes positive 5 because it's between the bars. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So G. The expression is equivalent to, so we're just going to FOIL this, first, outer, inner, last. So we have 4C times 3C, 12C squared, outer and inner. So we have plus 4CD minus 9CD, and then last, minus 3D squared. So we have 12C squared minus 5cd minus 3d squared. And that's going to be choice C. Of the 180 students in a college course, one fourth earn an A, so one fourth A, one third earn a B, and the rest earn a C, how many students earn a C? So we have 180 total. And then one fourth of those, one fourth of 180, are A students. And then we have one third times 180 are B students. And the rest are C students. So let's call them C. So one fourth of 180 or 180 times one fourth is 45. And then one third plus one third times 180 is 60, or 180 divided by 3 is 60, plus C again. And that all equals 180. So then we're going to ask. Uh, subtract 60 and 45 from both sides, and then we get 75 equals C. <laughs> That's a terrible looking C right there, C. And so our answer is F. The number of fish in Skipper's Pond at the beginning of each year can be modeled by this equation where X represents the number of years after the beginning of 2000. For example, X equals zero represents the beginning of the year 2000. It's nice I tell you that. Sometimes that's a, if it's a harder question, they're not going to give you that. Anyway, X equals one represents 2001 and so forth. How many fish were in the pond in 2006? So 2006 just means it's going to be X equals six. So using this equation, we have 3 times 2 
to the sixth. And two to the sixth, you can do that on your calculator. Uh, so it's going to be 64. So three times 64 equals 192, or choice B. Manish, that's a good name, Manish. Manish drove from Chicago to Baton Rouge at 8 a.m. He was 510 kilometers from Baton Rouge. At 1 p.m., he was 105 kilometers from Baton Rouge. What's the following is closest to his average speed in kilometers per hour, so kilometers per hour, from 8 a.m. to 1? So this is going to be a distance rate time question. So we have our distance rate time pyramid. So if you're looking for distance, is rate times time, but we're looking for rate. Um, so we need our distance, which would be 510 minus 105. So that is 405. That's his distance that he traveled. And then his time, 8 to 1, is 5 hours. So you write that out if you need to. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. One, two, three, four, five hours. So five hours is his time rate. 405 divided by five is 81. Or choice H. The figure below, EG, lie on AC. So EG lies on AC. So we'll have this whole side red. It's just saying all of those are on the same line. Um, DF lies on e, B, uh, on AB, DE and FG are parallel, so that means these points are all on the same side, and since these are parallel in the center, these are parallel lines, which means we have similar triangles. This little triangle here is going to be similar to, let's put the whole thing in purple, this triangle here, the whole thing, so little triangle and big triangle. So I'm actually going to erase that because I think I covered up my number. There we go. So we want to know what is the length of AC. So I'm going to make AC red again. The whole side is red. So what is that length? So we have this blue side. We have 8, 7, and 6. 8 plus 7 and 6 in the big triangle. So big on bottom. We're going to do big on bottom and little on top. So little triangle, big triangle. So is 21. 8 plus 7 plus 6 is 21. And then this side, so now we have sides, side of the little triangle is 8. So 8 over 21 equals, right, we want to know what is this whole side over here. So X, the whole side of the big triangle, right? This whole side, we want to know. And we have this 16, the small triangle, 16. So now we've just got a proportion. We can cross multiply. Uh, we have 8x equals 21 times 16. Just do that on your calculator. 336. Divide both sides by 8. And you get x equals 42. So your answer is 42. Now, you could, had you wanted to, use a measurement technique. And the measurement technique is when you take your answer document or something that you can use as a ruler. Your answer document has a little code box at the top. And you could lay that, that code box along this side here and say, well, how many of those boxes uh, are there in this side that's 15? You could do the same thing over here. Still set up a proportion to do it, but it's just nice to know you could do that if you wanted to. Katrina one runs 15 miles in two and a half hours. What's the average number of minutes it takes to run one mile? So we have to convert our two and a half hours to minutes. So 60 minutes in an hour. So 2.5 or two and a half times 60 equals 150 minutes. So that's how many minutes we're dealing with. Now we can set up a proportion miles over minutes so she runs 15 miles in 150 minutes we want to know how many miles she or how many minutes it takes her to run one mile right how many minutes it takes to run one mile so 
we cross multiply and we get 150 equals 15x divide both sides by 15 and we get x equals 10 so the answer is g